the Antarctic is really important in terms of climate change. Um, we're seeing big changes in West Antarctica. Um, it's really, it's melting um, substantially at the fringes and obviously the big picture is that sea level um, is rising which could potentially displace you know, hundreds of millions of people that live within one metre of sea level rise. What causes the western part of Antarctica to be a lot more uh, responsive to the warming world versus East Antarctica? What we've found so far is that it seems like West Antarctica initially started as ice above sea level as the East Antarctica is today. So we had these two ice sheets both above sea level and then for some reason it started subsiding, so it started deepening. West Antarctica is a lot more susceptible to the warming today because it's grounded, the ice is below sea level so that warming ocean because of climate change can get in there, warm it from underneath, chew at it from underneath. Meanwhile East Antarctica is sitting nice and stable above. All we're doing is we've taken one core of um, rock sediments, you know, 20 million year old sediments from the Ross Sea and we're seeing these big changes of an, a West Antarctic ice sheet that went from above sea level to below sea level. And what that allows us to do is characterise why these marine base, so that's the ice that's below, grounded below sea level, why is that more susceptible and when does it become susceptible? We're trying to characterise that in, in terms of when it first happened. So when it initially got deeper, how did that change happen? And this is potentially changes that we're seeing now as well.